you know, whether it's a person looking for work or a job seeker that has never looked for a job before, coming off of a job for 15 years, and they think it's completely impossible to find a new job, you know, we make that possible because we do the legwork for them. We work for our client companies to find that candidate. I had a client call me at 2 in the morning, um, bad storm warehouse was flooding and they needed 10 people as soon as possible. I looked to get started on that mission and unfortunately I had no power so I drove to the office, they were out of power as well, so I just gathered everything and headed down to their site, found the 10 people by 6 a.m. and we were getting the water cleaned up out of that warehouse, so my mission became possible. So the hardest part about what we do is our jobs aren't just local. They cover every aspect of the country, every level, so we have to find candidates that fit those jobs everywhere that they are. So that's probably the hardest part, but we hit it right every time. A candidate came to us and stated that she had just endured a traumatic situation and that her life was in complete turmoil. I made it my mission to have her employed ASAP. Not only is she still working with that company to this day, she's thriving. My Mission Possible was a candidate that lived in Texas and she was moving here to be with her husband who was in the military. And she didn't think she could get a job in Augusta without being in Augusta. Well, we hooked her up with a video interview and she had a job the Monday after they got here. We have customers calling, I have to ship these parts, I need help, I have to get somebody in here right now. This truck has to go at 5 o'clock today and it's 8 o'clock in the morning and I need help. And that's what we do. One of the most challenging things that we faced in business in our 35 years has been the ups and downs of the economy. We've survived several recessions and also some really great, wonderful years. But being able to be flexible and change with the times and what's happening, we also have to be in the know of the Augusta market, Aiken market, and surrounding areas. We have to know what's in, what's out, who's hot, who's not. My name is Emily Kane and I am the Human Resources Manager for WOW Internet Cable and Phone and I've been employed here for six years. When the need arises where we need to utilize temporary staffing, Augusta Staffing is always the first call that I make. We've, we've had really good success working with Robert and Lisa. They are always able to deliver quality candidates and in a timely fashion. Uh, our most recent need happened a few months ago and it was a Friday afternoon and I called over to the office and spoke with Robert and told him that we needed 20 customer service representatives and we needed them to start in two weeks. A big task and again it was a Friday afternoon and I'm sure he was ready to start his weekend yet he didn't hesitate to take on the challenge. By Tuesday afternoon they had us 26 candidates to review. The following day on Wednesday they had another 11 candidates for us to review. They're always able to come through with quality candidates and on a very quick turnaround time. Uh, my name is Eli Rodriguez. I'm a production supervisor at Soto Metrics in Grove Town. We uh, employ about uh, 180, 190 um, employees at the, at the facility and about uh, 78, 90 uh, through uh, Augusta Staffing. As far as you know, when we call Augusta Staffing, if you can talk to anyone and everybody's knowledge was on who you're talking about and what your needs are as far as. So that's a good thing about it, that you don't have to wait on certain, if this person is out, wait till they come back and get an answer for you, that everybody that's there is able to answer whatever your needs are. My name is Cheryl Ramos. I work for United Medical Enterprise. I've been there about five years. I'm Human Resources Manager. And I work with us to staffing with many different, in many different areas, needs and recruiting. Clerical, industrial, um, warehouse. I needed to fill a position and um, they sent me this one gentleman and um, he was out there and he was so willing to do anything. Augusta Staffing was able to kind of move things around. Even though this gentleman had another assignment somewhere else, they worked with me. They knew that I needed this person to stay where he was at, even though the next day I moved him somewhere else. And now he's been there. This is his second year. He's permanent with us. And in fact, he just came to my office last week because he bought a house. Well, my name is Rick Herring, and I work for the Aiken Augusta Warrior Project, and I am the coordinator of Veteran Employer Relations. I think the things that I found so exciting and helpful with Augusta Staffing is the fact that they can handle both the blue-collar side and the white-collar side. We're helping about 1,500 veterans right now that have, as you might imagine, a lot of different skills and education levels. So we have a lot of people that would fall into what people characterize as blue collar or white collar. So I feel like we get really good response when we're working with people in manufacturing or somebody in the admin environment. 
One of the things that I really enjoy about the business and what's kept me in it for all these years, it's the positive impact that we have on people's lives. Not just those that we put to work, but also the clients that we work for. We look for people, we, our goal is to place people who will either increase revenues for their business or decrease cost, but definitely have a positive impact on their company.